first of all, uh, allow me to perhaps welcome the, the good news that you, that you report about the progress of the health situation in, uh, in Western Balkans. That's, of course, uh, very, very good news. However, when it comes to the external um, travel restriction that we currently have in place and that is being progressively lifted, the decisions as to uh, which countries should be included on the list of countries uh, from which this restriction uh, on non-essential travel is completely lifted lie with the Council. Uh, now, what the Council does is it applies a number of criteria, not only the criterion linked to the uh, cumulative case notification rate, but also criteria linked to the trend of new cases, the testing rate, test positivity rate, and also an overall response uh, to COVID-19 in order to decide which countries uh, end up on this list. It is not a mechanical, numerical assessment. It is more of a, um, a, a global assessment which also includes qualitative elements and which, as I said, is entirely in the hands of the member states. Um, now, member states do uh, do this in the council uh, every, every two weeks, and um, uh, it is not something that the, the commission directly controls. We, um, the last uh, proposal that we made uh, on this travel recommendation included uh, notably a wider set of criteria, but they still remain in the hands of the council. However, um, what I would also like to stress is that the current recommendation, which has been in place since the 20th of May, includes uh, the recommendation to member states to allow non-essential travel for all uh, travelers who have been vaccinated with uh, EU-approved EU uh, vaccines. Uh, so this uh, allows already non-essential travel for a vast and growing number of, uh, of travelers, including uh, from uh, the Western Balkans. And of course, essential travel remains possible uh, as well.